Hey guys, it's Marshall from Segway. Today we're going to be taking a look at using ADB wireless mode. Now, you may remember that ADB is the protocol used to communicate with Lumo from our host machine to both install third-party applications and run our own developer applications from Android Studio. The limitation with using ADB is that it operates over a wired connection. In Lumo's case, the USB cable plugged in from its head to our host machine. Now, when developing and testing your application on Lumo, it can be inconvenient having to plug Lumo back into your computer every time you want to run a new test of your application. ADB wireless mode allows us to create a persistent wireless connection from our host machine to Lumo, replacing the need for a cable. To set up ADB wireless, we need to make sure that Lumo is in developer mode, that USB debugging is enabled, and that it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network as our host machine. All right, now make sure Lumo is plugged into your host machine with the USB-C cable, and then go ahead and open up a terminal on your machine. I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna open up PowerShell. So now we're gonna to need to run the command ADB devices. This is just to check and make sure that we followed all the steps previously listed, and that Lumo is indeed showing up under ADB. So now to enable a wireless connection, ADB wireless, we need to type in ADB, TC, PIP, and then give it a port argument. So here, I'm gonna type in 5555. Uh, this is because this port that I'm typing in is widely available on most wireless networks. Um, if you're familiar with development and servers, go ahead and list whatever port you want here. Um, now we're gonna hit enter. The next command we're gonna type is ADB connect, and we're gonna give it some IP address. Um, now, to get the IP address, we need to go over to Lumo and copy that down. But before doing that, make sure to unplug the USB cable from your host machine to Lumo. Make sure that's unplugged. Okay, guys, we're at Lumo. We're in developer mode. We're going to go to our app launcher, go to settings, go to the Wi-Fi menu. Uh, we're going to hit this little three tab icon up here. We're going to hit the advanced tab. Okay, now we're going to scroll to the bottom and that's where our IP address is going to be. We're gonna need the IPv4 address, which is uh, this first one you see here, a set of numbers followed by, uh, with periods in between. That's the one we're gonna want. Go ahead and copy that and we'll put it into our terminal. All right, guys, we're back at our terminal here. Uh, we've gotten the IP address from Lumo, so now we're just gonna type it in. So the full command will be ADB connect and then your IP address. In my case, it is 192.168. That zero, that two, three, six. Again, yours will be different. So anyways, we'll run this command. And now we'll see we're connected to Lumo wirelessly. So now if we run ADB devices, we will see that the device representing Lumo shows up here. Additionally, if we go over to Android Studio, we will see that now Lumo shows up here and that we can build and, and send an app to Lumo wirelessly. So guys, that's been how to use ADB wireless mode with Lumo. Some things to note about using it, um, it will work persistently through most shut off slash power down events of Lumo. The only time that the connection can be lost is if the host machine turns off or a wireless network change of some sort. Either a router reset or something like that uh, can affect this. Um, and if that does happen, just go through the steps again. Really simple. All you got to do is plug in Lumo, run ADB devices, make sure it's connected, run ADB TCP IP with a port, unplug, find the IP address of Lumo, run ADB connect, and then you should be connected. Thanks, guys.